in 8,917, the value of digit 8 is, so you have the number given there. If you want, you can rewrite to make it bigger so you have more space to write. Okay, so they ask you for the value. When they say value means you need to write the numbers, means how much is it worth, example. Okay, what is the value of that number? How big is that number actually? That's what they're trying to ask you. So, <clears throat> we look at the value, means everything is in numbers, right? You can have 880, 800, 8,000, but what, what is it? So, let's look and put down the place value here. Okay, like this. So, I want 8, right? So, 8 is in the thousands place. 8 is in the thousands place. So, it's 8 thousands. Which is 8 thousand. Answer is number 4. Very good. Okay, so the next question. <clears throat> in 7,659, which digit is in the hundreds place? So you write out the number again, 7,659. And if you are not sure, you can write out the place value. I call the place value the houses of the numbers, the house. This is ones, this is tens, this is hundred, this is thousands. I want to know the digit in the hundreds, please. So let's look at the hundred, please, this one. So what is the digit there? Digit number two. Correct. Very good. What is the value? Value means the number. I want to write out the number of seven thousands, five hundreds, and two ones. So you need to know the different zeros in all these num uh, words, right? Thousands, hundreds. So example, if I have tens, <clears throat> tens, do you have how many zeros? Tens, one zero. Hundreds, two zeros. Thousands, three zeros. If you're not sure, one tens, one hundred, one thousand. One, one, one. See? How many zeros? I'm looking at the zeros. Okay? Like this. So now, with these zeros I have here, look at the numbers given. 7,000. 1,000 got three zero, right? One, two, three. 100 says two zero. Once there's no zero. So 7,500, two ones. So what do we do? We add up 7,500, two ones. You add it up and you get 7,502. Answer is number three, not number four. Number three. Okay? <clears throat> number four. Four thousands plus three hundreds plus five tens. Remember just now I wrote out the number. How many zeros? Thousands, there are three zeros. <clears throat> One, two, three, hundreds, two zeros, tens, one zero. Then we rewrite four thousand, three hundred, five tens. And what do we do? We add it up. Four thousand, three hundred, and like that, fifty. Now you add up, right? Uh, start with the ones, zero, five, three, four. Four thousand, three hundred and fifty is number four. Very good. Next one, number five. 6,209 is how many more than 6,109? You see the word more than. And then I have this number and this number. This is a comparison more. Why is that so? They are comparing this bigger number and a smaller number that. So if I'm comparing them, you need to subtract. Okay. So, 6,209 minus 6,109 equals to do your working. You see? Start with your ones. Zero, zero, one, zero. Answer is 100. Number three. Very good. Okay. So they ask you here, write the words in numeral, 8,045. So 8,000 is 8,000. 45 is 45. If you're not sure, you put them together. 8,000 plus 45. 5, 
8045. So this is not right, huh? 8045. Next one, 5000 is this. <clears throat> 700 is this. 12 is this. Then you add up 5712. 2175. Like this. Okay? So this is correct. Now, I'm just going to share with you the next one because this one cannot spell out, right? So, this is, we start with the number in front, 7,000, then 303. This is 7,303. Next one, nine. Thousand, then this is sixty. Thousand and sixty, like that. Okay. Find the sum of the following. Sum means you need to add. So the first one, three thousand seven hundred and six plus four hundred ninety nine. Three seven zero six four nine nine plus. Start with the 1. 6 plus 9, 15. 5 carry 1. 9 plus 0 is 9 plus 1 is 10. 0, 1. 7 plus 4 is 11. 11 plus 1 is 12. 2, 1. 3 plus 1 is 4. Not this, but 4,205. Next one. 60 hundreds. Hundreds is two zeros. Plus 25 tens. Tens is one zero. So it's 600. Sorry, 60 hundred is like that. Plus 25 tenths. So it is 6,000 plus 250. 6,250 plus together 0, 5, 2, 6. Okay? And your answer is not this, but 6, 2, 5, 0. Right? The difference here means you need to subtract. So for 8A, you need to take 8769 minus 3754 equals to, so we can do our working here, 8769 8, minus 3754 minus, okay? Start with the ones. 9 minus 4, 5. 6 minus 5, 1. 7 minus 7, 0. 8 minus 3, 5. Answer is 5,015. This is wrong. Okay. Next one. 6,578 subtract 3,145 equals to 6, 5, 7, 8 minus 3, 1, 4, 5. 8 minus 5, 3. 7 minus 4, 3. 5 minus 1, 4. 6 minus 3, 3. 3,433. None of them were right. So complete the number pattern. So you need to see what is the pattern first, right? Let's look at the first two numbers for A. So to identify the pattern, you need to subtract these two numbers. So we take 1025. Take away 1015 and then you realize it is by 10. So this one, they increase by 10. Here also increase by 10. Here also increase by 10. Here also increase by 10. Why do I say increase? Because the number gets bigger. The number gets bigger, right? So over here, I must also increase by 10. So which means this is 1055 plus 10 equals to 10, right? So it is a 10 place, just plus 1, plus 1 equals to 1065. So this is correct. This is 1065. Okay. If you're not sure how I did that, this is 1 tens, right? So that's why the tens place, I just add 1. Next one. This one, let's find the difference between the first two numbers. So we take 1150, subtract 1050 equals 2. And if you minus, you get 100. So which means the number gets bigger. This one is plus 100. Here is also plus 100. Here plus another 100. 
here you need to plus another 100. So this is 1350 plus 100 equals 2. So this is 100 place, right? This is my hundreds. How many hundred? 100. So you plus 1 for this digit 3. So 1450. 1450. This is correct. Very good. Okay, so let me delete all this first. All right, so we have this question number 11. Jack sold 1,985 apples and 2,256 mangoes at his fruit stall. Find the total number of fruits Jack sold. How many more mangoes than apples did he sell? Okay, so you have this question. And you want to find A, the total number of fruits. So if you want to draw out your model, which I strongly suggest, okay? So apples and mangoes. If you look at apples and mangoes, apples is lesser than your mangoes. So this is apples and this is mango. Don't have to copy down now. Huh? Just look. So this is 1985. That is 2256. I want to find the total. So this is what I want to find. So part A. Total means everything. So you need to add. So 1985 plus 2256. Like this. Okay. And when you add, you need to do your working on your right hand side. So 1985 plus 2256. Do this and you will get your answer 4241. That's the answer for part A. 4241. Next, B. How many more mangoes than apples did Jack sell? Okay, if you look at the model again, so I'm going to redraw this. I'm going to put it outside so you can see the comparison. So for part B, the model is still the same like that. However, there is this portion. I want to find this. Okay, so what is apple? Apple is one, nine. Oops, so thick. Apple is one nine eight five, and then mango is two two five six. So you see that mango is more than apple. Where is the more portion? This portion. This is the more portion. So what do I do here? I take away. Okay, two two five six minus one nine eight five. You do your working on your right hand side here, and your answer will be two hundred and seventy one. That is your answer. All right, so your working should look like this: two, two, five, six minus one, nine, eight, five, and then when you minus, you get your answer. All right? Jones had five thousand apples and one thousand fifty-eight oranges at his stall. He sold two thousand four hundred sixty-eight apples. How many more apples than oranges did he have in the end? Okay. So, if I want to draw my models, I have apples and oranges. Apples is 5,000, so it's a lot more than my oranges. Oranges is just this part. Okay, so this is 5,000. This is 1958. Okay, what happened? <laughs> He sold. When you sell something means you take away. You take away from the total. Out of this, let's say about here, this whole lot is what he sold. And he sold away two, four, six, eight apples. Okay? Which means later on in the end, he will only have this left and then this left. This is the leftover in yellow. This is the leftover. I want to find that one. I want to find this and then first, and then I will have to find this one in blue. This is my final finding. Now, the first one here, the leftover apples, okay? Leftover apples. How do we get this? It will be 5,000. You take away what you sold equals to right hand side is always your working so 5000 minus 2468 and you are going to get 2532 
Okay, which means over here, the leftover apples is 2, 5, 3, 2. Okay, now we know that the oranges is still 1, 9, 5, 8 because nothing is sold. Now, can I find this question mark here? This one? Can. I take 2, 5, 3, 2 minus 1, 9, 5, 8 equals to 2, 5, 3, 2 minus 1, 9, 5, 8. Like that. And you are going to get your answer of 574. This is the answer. 574. Okay? A florist has 1,970 pink roses. She has 280 fewer pink roses than red roses. How many roses did the florist have all together? So I have pink roses, pink and red. The pink one is fewer. Fewer means when I draw my model, fewer means it's lesser. So the pink one, let's say it's about here. The red one is more. Let's say about there. Okay. The pink, I have 1970. And I have 280 fewer, which means this portion here is 280. Okay, this one. So... If you look at the model, this model, this portion, and this portion, they are equal. So if the top is 1970, here is also 1970. Because these two, this and this are equal. They're same size if you look at this. Now, can I find my red flowers first? This is your first part. And then total, I want to find the total second okay so red roses is equal to 1970 plus 280 equals to 2250 okay so this is the red one which means if you want to put back in the model you can and then you will put that as 2250 now the total will be you take your pink Plus your red, you add together. 1970, this is the pink. Plus 2250, this is the red. This is pink. And this is red. You add together, working on your right hand side, don't forget. So 1970, 2250, you add. And you get your answer of 4220. This is the answer. There are 2,350 chocolate cupcakes and walnut cupcakes, which means this is their total. There are 350 more chocolate cupcakes than walnut cupcakes. This is a comparison between the chocolate and the walnut. How many walnut cupcakes are there at the bakery? Okay, so you can see there are chocolate and there's walnut. The chocolate is more. So when you draw your model, the chocolate will be longer than your walnut. Let's see about here. Okay. Chocolate is 2350. Sorry. The total, that's the total. Huh? So when I put the total, total will be this side. This is 2350. Chocolate and cupcake total. This is the total. If you look at this, chocolate have more. How many more? You look at the model. So this is the more. 350 more. All I want to know is I want to know my walnuts. This one only. I want to know how much is walnut. If you look at the model, there is the extra. Where is the extra? This is the extra. You can see the model, right? There is an extra part there. You must take away the extra first. Take away. Once you take away the extra, you're going to get this and this, which are equal. These two parts are equal. Okay? And I can say that this is two parts. One part, two parts. This is two parts. And they are equal. Okay? So when you minus 2, 3, 5, 0, minus away the extra... 
you will get 2,000. These 2,000 is for who? For the chocolate and the walnut, the two equal parts. Two equal parts. This is two parts of the model. I want the walnut, which is only here. If you look at this, this is only one part. This is just one part here, one model. So I take 2,000 divided by 2 equals to 1,000. This is your answer. Many students stop at 2,000, which is wrong. You need to divide by 2. Pearl had 350 stickers. Sandy had 200 fewer than Pearl. So fewer means Sandy's model is shorter. Pearl gave some stickers to Sandy so that both had the same number of stickers. Okay. So how many stickers did Pearl and, Kat, Pearl and Sandy have in the end? Okay. So we have Pearl and Sandy. So you know that Pearl is longer because Sandy is fewer. So Pearl is like that. Longer. Sandy have 200 fewer. Let's say about like that. Okay. So, Pearl have 350. This is 350. And then Sandy have fewer. This is 200 fewer. This part here. Cannot see. I redraw properly. This is 200. Which is this portion. This is also 200. Okay, like that. Which means uh, this part and this part, they are equal. These two portion, this and this are supposed to be equal. However, Pearl gave some stickers to Sandy. Oopsie, sorry. Where is it? Okay. So Pearl give some stickers to Sandy, which means part of Pearl's extra here, the 200, this one, the part of the extra, she gave some so that they will have equal part. Let me just change the color. Hmm, let's change the bubble. This 200, I cut it up into two. So this part, the purple part, goes to Sandy and it goes below here. Now, if you look at the model, I will highlight. Let me highlight using another color. Um, pink. This pink. So you can see that now Pearl have this yellow part plus the half. And then Sandy have the yellow part plus this half. Can you see that the model are not equal? So if I were to redraw Pearl and Sandy now, Pearl have this much. And then Sandy also have this much. Okay. Yeah, they are the same. You look at the model. They are equal. So they have this part here. And the extra part is half of 200. This 200 divided by 2 equals to 100. So inside here is 100. 100. So how many stickers did Pearl and Sandy have each in the end? This portion of 350 remains the same. This is 350 remains the same. Okay. So I want to know how many stickers did both of them have in the end. You will take your three. This is not inside. Wait, wait, I redraw. Sorry. Okay, this 350 is the whole thing just now. The 350 is the whole thing just now. Including the one that I take away, which is this portion, the one that I shade. Can you see? So, which means I will have to take away the 100, this one. So, 350 take away the 100 equals to 250. So, the balance is 250, 250. Okay, so how many stickers does uh, Pearl and Sandy have in the end? This is a whole thing, 250 here. The whole thing is 250 here. I don't want to put inside. Lah. Confusing. Uh, yeah. Messy. Let me just close up the gap. So I will put the 250 down below. You can see, yeah. So the whole model is 250. Answer is 250. Right? 